Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle and you're watching The Savage Boutique. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about our baby registry and what we signed up for and why we signed up for it and pretty much the goal of having a minimalist baby registry or as minimal as possible. I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube about like what people buy, what people like, what people all this stuff and honestly like I haven't noticed anybody do like a video of like what they put on their registry so I thought that might help some of uh some new moms and the reason why i think i can help new moms is because i had a professional my sister who is a mother of two come over and pretty much do my list with me and figure everything out and knock it out of the park so i'm gonna do my best to try and show you first i want to start off by saying we did our entire registry on amazon purely for the ease of purchases deliveries price comparisons and amazon's return policy is super nice with that being said let's get right into bedding and sleeping time so on the left, you'll see the Ingenuity Smart and Simple Play Yard. This is a portable crib that easily folds in half. It comes with a bassinet, a changing table, and there's even pockets on the sides to hold diapers and other necessities. We added this for when we travel or visit friends and family and need an easy baby station. And then on the right is the Delta Children Independence 4-in-1 Convertible Baby Crib. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that we already have this set up. My parents got it for us along with the mattress, and Blake and my dad set it up the, that same night that they brought it over. So we've been slowly able to set up the nursery around this crib, and we love it. I love how sleek it is. It's actually It actually converts into like a twin bed later on. And if you're short, this crib is totally meant for you. I'm actually pretty short, so placing him down at night won't be a problem for me. I'm about 5'2", five, 5'3", five, on a good day, and have no issues with the height of this crib whatsoever. Next are some sleeping aids. On the left is the Hatch Baby Rest Nightlight Sound Machine and Time to Rise. So Rest combines night light and sound machine and time to rise alert in one easy to use device that you can control from your phone. Customize color, brightness, sound, volume, all of the good stuff. Um, so this will be great for midnight breastfeeding sessions and then it will gradually get brighter when it's time to wake up for the day. This will be super nice to help build and maintain a, a, a really natural sleep cycle for the baby. And then on the right is the Soft Dreams Elephant Music and Glow Soother, which we actually received already, and it's super cute. We hung it on the crib, and it's just, like I said, so cute. I love that it plays music and is a nightlight similar to the Hatch Baby, but this one only goes for about five minutes at a time. And so we figured that after the nightlight and music stop, the Hatch Baby will be the main source of soothing while he sleeps. Next, we have the Halo Sleep Sack and some Muslim swaddle blankets. My sister swears by the zippered sleep sacks for babies. It's easier to unzip while the baby is sleeping versus unbuttoning versus having to completely take off clothes. If you have to change a dirty diaper on a sleeping baby, you'd rather un unzip it, <laughs> unzip their clothing versus having to like mess around with buttons. It's also nice because you can sleep easy knowing that your baby is nice and cozy while sleeping. And then the muslin blankets I picked out because they're a little thinner than regular blankets, so swaddling your baby is easier. It's also nice to use as a cover-up or burp cloth if nothing else is around. So I'm definitely going to be taking one of these with us when whenever we go places. Um. Okay, so moving on to the Windsor Glider and Ottoman. We got it in white with gray cushions. We picked this one out because we love the easy um, easiness of and the classic rocking chair to it. It's a little bit more sleek than the other chairs that we were looking at. This one has pockets on each side and it comes with an ottoman. So if we don't need the ottoman or need that footrest, we can always move it somewhere else. But um, I've already noticed that being pregnant, I need my feet up. So the ottoman's super nice for that. And then also, these are just easier for us to continuously rock in, and we think it's super comfy. We tested it out at a Bye Bye Baby and absolutely loved it. And then we added the baby, or sorry, the Boppy Newborn Lounger, because though it's similar to a nursing pillow, this one actually has a bottom to it, which makes me feel a lot better about having it on the floor or our leather couch, um, or even like bringing that one to family members or friends' houses or people, places we've never been before, knowing that the baby won't directly be on the carpet or couches just makes me feel more comfortable. Especially with us, we have a dog that sheds a lot and leather couches get hot. So 
this just is like puts my mind at ease. Okay, so now on to baby playtime. First is the Taff Toys 4-in-1 Music and Light Thickly Padded Newborn Cozy Mat. Ooh, okay, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I chose this one because it was a four-in-one and it converts, and I like that there's walls, and then the walls go down, and then it's the super cute little mat, very adorable and um, super slick for our apartment. Then next is the Fisher Price Auto Rock and Play Sleeper. It's easy to fold up, very sleek again, and this will also fit nicely in our, in our apartment in any room that we're in. And then finally, we have this tabletop sassy Wonder Wheel Activity Center. My sister swears by this when bringing littles to the restaurants. Um, they get to play and it's not a huge mess or it's not super loud. And I only added this toy because for the first few months, babies don't really play with toys. So I thought leaving a bunch of toys off the list would help keep this a more minimal registry until we start learning the baby's um what the baby actually likes now one of my favorite parts of the registry the furniture and organizing category so on the left are the floating shelves that were we've picked out to hang on the wall next to the crib we plan on using these for the bookshelves to help us limit on the baby book overload that can happen when you get a newborn on the right is the rope jolly. storage basket which we are going to use as a hamper so that we don't mix the baby's clothes with ours that then we have the soft fabric dresser drawer and closet storage organizer and the urban shop metal rolling cart. So the cart's going to sit next to the rocker and carry anything from diapers to burp cloths to ointments. Pretty much it's going to be the store all of the baby's necessities and we're going to use the fabric drawers to help keep that area organized. Then we added the six pack simple houseware foldable cube storage bin in gray and the closet made eight cube in white. We're putting this in the closet to keep it organized and right now we're thinking it's going to be uh, like a future storage. So extra packs of diapers and wipes, clothes that might be too big right now, toys that he's too young to play with, and then this will be his bedroom organizer for when he gets older. Finally, we decided to opt for a dresser. So my sister was saying that as her oldest was growing, she was rapidly growing out of the changing table dresser meant for kids and that she wished she would have just started with a dresser that my niece could grow into. Blake and I like that idea because it will help prepare us and our kid for the future. So moving on to nursing and changing essentials. We added diapers and wipes to our registry. I asked for anything but newborn. I already have a bunch. Plus from what I hear, they don't last in newborn size that long anyways. Then we asked for a changing mat and covers. This will go on the dresser and we will make that our designated changing table. Okay, let's talk diaper bags for a quick second. First of all, to each their own for this decision, but let me list off some reasons, some of my reasons for wanting a backpack diaper bag. First, as I mentioned earlier, I'm short. I know that from experience, I already have a hard time carrying a lot of things at once in my arms, let alone a baby and all those things. So I decided to go with the backpack so I can just quick throw it on my back and have my arms and hands free. So I went with the Danny backpack because it comes with a changing pad and stroller straps. Also because it has insulated side pockets for bottles or wipes and the front is more like a purse that I could use and there's access to the bottom of the backpack from the outside of the bag which a lot of bags have but this one allows access in the front of the bag instead of the back so Blake could access it without me having to keep taking the bag on and off. And then next to this we have the Trend Lab Chevron storage diaper bag. This is more of like an in-home or overnight diaper bag that we're going to use probably like a caddy bag for our living room. Okay, let's move on to the 4-in-1 wing ring. It can be used in multiple different ways. So this can be used as a baby carrier wrap, a ring sling carrier, a nursing cover, or even a postpartum belly band or belt. But mostly I'm excited about this because it's not bulky and let's say our little guy doesn't like being in the carrier, it won't go to waste because we can use it for so many other things. Then there's the boppy nursing pillow and positioner, which I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into details. Okay, so the main thing I, I hear from everybody, not just my sister, is that you can never have enough burp cloth. So because of that, these next few slides are probably seeming a little excessive, but I really just want to make sure that we have plenty and that we can test them out in case we have a fussy baby and then we'll learn which ones are his favorite. 
Next is the portable changing pad diaper changing station built in head cushion. My sister loves hers. She says that it's really nice to have when you're out of the house. It's waterproof so, so if there's like a blowout you can easily clean the mat and there's a built in section for wipes and diapers. So let's say this is always prepared. All you'd have to do is grab it and boom you got everything that you need. We went with these Playtex baby vent air anti-colic baby bottles because they're uniquely designed to reduce colic and we don't know if our baby's gonna have that or not but it's a really nice just in case factor i know everyone wants to give clothes as presents a lot of new moms have told me though that their babies just live in onesies put them on our list to give our friends and family an idea of style we were looking for so on to some big ticket items now the high chairs and car seats that we've picked out. So here's the thing, I'm not gonna go into much detail other than we picked these out for safety, sleekness, easy to use, and or their multifunctional abilities. So the first we have the Frit Fisher Price Sweet Surroundings Monkey 4-in-1 Total Clean High Chair. Then we have the Juvie Spoon Walker, the Baby Car Seat Cover, the Graco Fast Action Fold Click Connect Travel System Stroller, the Bumbo Floor Seat, and then the Graco Forever 4-in-1 Car Seat. Next category is the bath time essentials. These are what we believe will work best in our house with our baby to make t bath time that much more enjoyable for both parties. So we have a cushioned bath kneeler and a padded elbow rest. We have the summer infant complete nursery care kit, newborn muslin cotton warm baby bath towels. We have the Boone Soap three-stage bathtub that our baby can grow with. We have the Honest Company Dreamy Lavender Shampoo and Body Wash with Lotion. And then we have the Apricot version as well. We have Burt's Bees Baby Infant Single Ply Hooded Towel, a Bamboo Baby Soft Organic Washcloth, Bath Toy organizer and then we have the premium hooded baby towels and washcloth set finally some baby safety and extra goodies we added magnetic child safety cabinet locks for when we need a baby proof we have outlet covers for that time as well we added just a few pacifiers and pacifier clips with teething rings at the end a humidifier and our baby camera that we can then use as a security camera later on i do want to mention that these are the items that we think will work best with our family that is what's on our baby registry if you liked this video if this helped you at all please like and subscribe leave a comment below if you think there's something that we're missing that we absolutely must have and i will let you know if we add it to the list other than that i have a hair appointment i have to get ready for because my hair is just growing like wild weeds since i've been pregnant and i need to get it cut so i'm gonna let you go now like subscribe and i will see you next time